in a smear little boy kiss Samson. I have this message to give us choosing ones. You know you attract what narcissist is and here is why. Yes. Listen, everybody in this world accurately wants something good for themselves. It does not matter who they call themselves. Everybody in this world love to have something good, something unique, something authentic. So you attracting a narcissist is to let you know that they need you more than you need them. And when you look at the percentage of this world, the population and the 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 total number of human beings in this world, you got to understand that ninety nine percent of them are narcissists. That means there is a lot of pros um, probability or uh, a lot of missed ways in which you will encounter them. You know what I'm saying? Narcissists, toxic people are so are so populated in this world and they have a great role to play in the life of every choosing ones because anything that God allow is for a purpose anything that God allows to occur in your life is for a reason so you encountering or having narcissist people in your life is for indeed a reason you know what i'm saying that is why god allow you to encounter narcissists god allow narcissists to come into your life god allow narcissists to be your friend god allow narcissists to have you know relationship with you look at the life of easter you know what I'm saying? Look at the life of Esther. If Bevencho, her man, does not exist, you want to understand that it won't be easy. Or God may provide another mist for her to become a queen because our God is smart and wise. But God allowed Esther to meet her man because the truth is this. Her man is not the only neighbor, neighbor man. In that word, in that town, or in that village, or in that city, Herman is not only well recognized one, but God allow her man, who is narcissist, toxic, and wicked, what wicked being, to meet Esther in order for Esther to be elevated. Meaning that you attract narcissists, toxic people in your life because one, you are what you are so kind, you are so good. You are so lovely. You are so unique. You are so truthful. You are well to be trusted. You know, I can, I cannot just remember how many people who do used to tell me, Samson, ah, you are well to be trusted. You are a kind of person that if someone tell you something, that you never ever review it, or you are a kind of person that you are so lovely. You are so lovely so good so nice I can't remember how many people who have told me this but the main truth is that as he chosen you have to understand that in this world you must surely encounter narcissists one they make you stronger they make you more smarter they make you more wiser they open doors they elevate you they place you where you don't even deserve in life you know, many of us always see the negative part of meeting with narcissists. Yes, they will betray you. That is the negative. That is the disadvantage. One, they will betray you. Two, they will never be loyal. Three, they will never be, they will be honest. Four, they will never be content. Five, they will never appreciate your present. Two, you know, six, they will never be, what, be happy to see your growth. There are many disadvantages. But you will not look at the disadvantage they carry 
and forget also the word the advantage because whoever that that is not earnest with you will make you never to trust toward someone whoever that is not loyal to your present to your effort to your doing will make you keep doing good you have saying whoever is not grateful will make you believe that there is no need for you to do good and expect them to do good to you. Whoever that is not content, in terms of he is not happy to see you grow, will make you believe that there is an evidence that you are growing. Whoever that hates you because of the fact that you are growing simply means God is now telling you indirectly through them without them knowing that you are doing well. Meaning that, that for them to hate whom you are, for them to hate your effort, for them to hate the fact that you are doing well, simply means God is revealing to you that even when you thought or you think within you that you are not doing well, God is opening your eyes for you to know how good you are doing in life, for you to know how great you are doing in life, for you to know that you are not left behind, but you are ahead of many. So you meet the nurses people, you attract the nurses people for many great purpose. They elevate you because one, one of the means in which they elevate you, they, they promote you like that of Joseph. They promote you like that of Esther. They promote you like that of Anna. So there are many ways in which Nazis people play a great ways role in your life, even without them not knowing. Because if most of them know what they are doing, they will quit. <laughs> we are blessed.